Hi, this is the Alvin Nook. This is a house that I designed uh, and built in about 1998, I believe. It's a 1970 square foot uh, rancher. We did a slab on grades, uh, so it has a no step entry and three foot doors. So uh, it uh, is an accessible kind of a house, an age in place kind of a house. It features a three-car garage uh, with a large bonus room over the top and a nice covered porch area that is accessible from the master as well as from the main part of the house. And the way I built it back then, I had a kind of a long lot. And so I did what I would have always liked to have had and built a little uh, shed slash um, lawnmower little shop area um, however the gal that bought it and she bought it uh, as I was putting in the footings this was about 1998 and she still lives there and um, really has always just loved the house we've remained friends with her but she uh, converted this little garage I had back in here into a uh, part of her master bedroom but let's take a look inside coming in the front door here uh, there is a formal dining area right here that turned out really beautiful we did this uh, custom cabinetry work uh, inside this is actually in the dining room looking out the living room and this being the kitchen uh, there's a pass-through right here. so that picture was was about right here that, that's being the passageway this is we simplified this quite a bit this is where the uh, the nice cabinetry work was done that you, you just saw in that picture and then here also we also had nice um, custom woodwork cabinetry done this being uh, the, the what looks like a wall that I just showed you right here and that's looking over at uh, the office door right here see this is the office door that I just showed you and then this is from the living room uh, this being the front door and uh, this being the dining area here then this is what we call the office room. She made that into, she's had the whole time a grand piano right there. Um, but it would serve as, a, as an office or a bedroom. And then uh, this being a full bath with a hall closet, linen closet, a bedroom here that had access into uh, the bathroom here. And then this being the kitchen living room, uh, breakfast nook, this then is the master, and like I said she turned this into a part of her bedroom, she took out the, these two walls and made this a great big master, then this, this had basically two closets, it had this closet and then back in here it had another walk-in closet so it was really and she was a single gal and this house is really really wonderful for an empty nester um, because it has such a, a wonderful uh, suite master suite with a walk-in shower and a soaker tub and you know nice walk-in closet this being the stairs to go up to the bonus room this is kind of a little pantry area under under the stairs was uh, another closet for the for pantry uh, then she had an extra cabinet here this being the laundry room and um, this was a furnace room slash storage room actually we ended up putting the furnace uh, upstairs I see the way this worked out when I put the bonus room in we actually put the furnace up in here 
and so used this area. Uh, I believe it was just for storage. And then you have this nice big bonus area. As I remember, we put a closet here and squeezed in a full, well, a three-quarter bath in here. These walls are five feet tall. We moved down into there, and we're able, we were able to get in a, like I say, a three-quarter bath up here. And she's always used this area as um, a media room slash uh, guest bedroom. Uh, so anyway, that is the uh, that is the Alvin Nook. Uh, I think it's a, a, a really wonderful uh, three bedroom uh, house with a lot of extra room, that bonus room. It had a lot of uh, a lot of street or curb appeal. Back then I did all the work myself to the extent of putting in the foundation, footings, framing, uh, glass block. I did everything. Uh, I don't quite do so much now, but uh, it did turn out uh, really nice and as I say one owner has lived in this thing for nearly 20 years and uh, it just really enjoyed it she says thank you and if you want to uh, discuss this further give me a call thank you bye now